this demo of Form Titan and Salesforce, I will show you how to attach a new content version object to an existing account in Salesforce. To do so, we need to select our account. I will use a drop down for that. Let me drop it here. I will call it account. And I'll just make it a bit bigger. And I'll remove all the current options that are associated with that drop down. Next, we will bring the file upload control so we can attach a file. And now we need to load our accounts to the account dropdown. To do that, go to Salesforce integration, get from Salesforce, map fields. Click add object, and we will select the account object. We'll run it when the form loads because we want to load the accounts to the dropdown as soon as the form loads. I will set a condition to only bring me accounts with the name when the name has the letters BEN in them. Obviously, you can do your own rules. Click apply and I'll bring all of them. And then all I have to do is just map my fields. In this case, I'm just mapping the account name from Salesforce to my account drop down. Click apply and click apply again and once more and we are done in terms of getting data. Now all we have to do is create that new content version object. To do so we're going to push to Salesforce and click on edit. Click on add object and select the content version object. There it is. The action is create. I can set a rule to say only do this if the file upload is not empty. And all I have to do now is just map my fields. The only fields I need to map really are the title, which will be the file name. Then we need the actual contents of the file, which goes into the version data. Again, this is the file upload. Lastly, the object to attach it to, and this is the first published location ID, which means our account value from the dropdown. That's all we have to do. Click apply, apply again, and finish, and let's see it in action. So this is our form. You can see here are my accounts. I'll select an account. I will come and attach a file to it. Click upload. Now we're going to Salesforce, and if we go and see the object in Salesforce, currently there are no attachments, but if I'm refreshing the page, you can see here is our attachment that we have just created. Thank you very much for your time.